Hello and welcome to Oz Toy Reviews. So hello parents, toy collectors, Woolworth shoppers, it's your good pal Oz. Uh, and today I think we're doing our fourth or fifth one of the, the Woolworths Bricks um, farm promotion. You get lots of different uh, animals and farm accessories and tractors and and this homestead, this was a starter pack. Uh, we've been opening for them for a little while now, and now we're up to video number four. Um, and in this video, I'm just gonna open up a lot of, like about 20-ish, maybe more, of um, the countdown bricks from New Zealand, from their promotion about five-ish months ago, back in September. And then we've also got the Woolworths Bricks Farm from the ongoing promotion right now over in Australia. So, we'll do that as fast as we can. If we get double ups, I'll just chuck them aside. If we get new ones, we'll put them into the farm, um, following the instructions, just so we get everything in the right place. So I think that's pretty much a summary of where we're at. So let's just get straight into it. Um, and if we see countdown ones, which don't come from the official Australian Woolworths promotion, I'll take like an extra gander at those ones, um, just because they'll be a little bit unique for most of you watching. Uh, okay, now first up, over to the Woolworths Farm Promotion. I might need to lower this down so you can see what I'm doing. Okay, so again, double ups, we're just going to chuck them aside. Um, and this is a double up. So I'm going to put this straight back into the bag. Uh, I'm not going to put the stickers on, anything like that. And again, if you want to see all these getting opened up for the first time, um, just watch the previous videos. Otherwise, this would be a very long video if we were like assembling everyone, even if it's a double up. Okay, next one we have, is this, oh, solar panels, so they're already on top of the farm. Actually, I'll give you a quick look. There it is there. So we won't reassemble those. This always happens whenever I'm getting near the end of a promotion. Um, it starts being whole videos where I'm just opening non-stop double up. So hopefully that's not the case. I still, I think I've only got about, maybe, I may be past halfway now, but it should it will start to be double up. See, here we go. Avocado tree, another double up. That's three. That's unlucky. I wasn't expecting that many. Because, yeah, look, there's a lot of empty spaces throughout my farm. So there is still a lot more to open up. Okay, good thing I have a lot to open. So <laughs> if we keep getting double ups, um, that's fine. Because we, we do have a, a lot to open. Okay, so these are... Oh, I think I left a little piece inside there we go we did um these are oh, this is a double up too i thought it wasn't but i'll quickly assemble it just because we do only have one of these these are cauliflowers i think there we are piece of cake and that is a double up so i'm just going to chuck that straight over there let's do a countdown one we might have more luck with the countdown ones now so far the countdown ones have been cool because we have got a few like unique items like we got little sheep, we got, um, I think pears? Oh no, different colored apples. Um, actually this does look different. They are, hold on, I have no idea what these are. Kumra! <laughs> so yeah, this is definitely a New Zealand thing and I'll put them in a the little box so you can see them. So yeah, they grow in like all kinds of shapes and sizes like uh, I can't remember the name of the vegetable. Let me know in the comments below what's the Australian equivalent of a kumara. It's like sweet potato, but I think, yeah, they aren't exactly sweet potato, but it's very similar in appearance. It's also like a... But let me know, because instead of me agonizing over the name, you could just let me know in the comments. So tell me what is the Australian equivalent of kumara? Because, yeah, there will be a few around it's more than just sweet potato um but yeah let me know now i am trying to very quickly chuck on these stickers uh, there we go so <laughs> there it is with my really crooked stickers uh so there is the kumra so we're gonna put that i'll make its own little stack because we are getting a lot uh let's do another countdown one because that is fun it's always fun kind of getting uh new new ones which we haven't seen before uh now this is a pear tree which we have seen before so straight back into the bag okay there we go now another one i might have to get more of these countdown ones because um 
we are getting through them fairly quickly. I, I only, I think I only kind of put four or five up here, but we will need more. Now what's this? A fence? What? Okay, so I don't know why we're getting more fence. I guess it makes sense to kind of surround the place with fence. Uh, so it looks like there's three posts, two which go, have I done that right? Maybe, maybe not. And then one down there. Okay, no, that, that worked out fairly easily. Uh, so it's just more fence to put around the farm. I'll probably chuck it over here, like that. That's so much, um, I was gonna move the whole farm so you could see what I was doing, but um, there is so many animals <laughs> and pieces around. There we go. Hold on, there is still some space. Uh, there we go. So there's the farm there. I think that's straight. Yeah, yeah. So there's a fence looking good. And I'll probably, if I do get more of those, I'll probably put one more piece of fence there. But I might stop at that because I don't want to completely surround it. Then it's taking up good, good space for what we could be putting other things. Um, all right, more Woolworths. I mean, more countdown. Oh, that's a sticker I haven't seen before, I think. Yeah. Okay, what have we got? Oh, these are tiny. Honey, honey and jam. Okay. Gonna have to move the camera again because this is gonna be fiddly. Oh, these are jars. Okay. Wow. So let's put the, jam the, the, the labels on the jars first. Okay, that was easy enough. Now we got a few different lids. Oh no, we got two different lids but we've got three oh no there we go okay so the black ones go on the jams put the lid on I mean the sticker don't go away looking good so there's one of them pop that off and then we'll do the other jam uh, these are the the lids are very I'm gonna stick it on first. <laughs> My hands are too big to do such precise things. There we go. And then the jam label. Hopefully it's not upside down. Nope, looking good. Okay, so there is jar number two. And then put the lid on again. Now this is for the honey and it's got a different kind of label. Oh, see that was upside down. And there, but we got a lid as well. It's great that they're like making them so detailed. Uh, not so great for me <laughs> to assemble them, but uh, it is very cool. So there's a liquid honey, and then we got, I need something to put these on so you can see properly. But there's the three jams. Now, I don't know where to put those. We'll put those right outside the uh, house, ready to go upstairs as if they just put, oh, you guys can't see. There we go. Put them right here, just in, as if they got home from doing the groceries and they have to bring them upstairs into the house. Okay, now let's jump over to Woolworths and do some Woolworths ones for a change. Hopefully we'll stop getting double ups. Let me just have a peek first. No, this looks like broccoli. I don't know. I don't think I have broccoli. No, I don't. I have it, I think, in a container, but not growing in the farm like this. So little cow, you might need to move. Okay, and we're gonna move the camera again. There we are. Okay, it looks like there's a trick to this. So put those in first. I could read the instructions. I've had quite a few of you correct me already with how I've like created the carrots and stuff like that. Uh, I think it was carrots, but hopefully that's correct for broccoli. Now I'm gonna put that there, and there we go, looking nice. Get rid of rubbish, we're gonna stay tidy. And okay, what have we got next? Is this a double up? I'm checking now because I keep on, I had a, a bad run to begin with. Now I think this is a double up. Potato, yeah, we, the potatoes are a little bit buried under some of the other stacks, but we do have potatoes in there. So. 
I'll chuck that back. And um, oh, I have to mention there's a competition going because all these double ups will go to one happy viewer. Um, and all you gotta do to get into the competition is leave a comment of any sort. Um, hopefully nice, hopefully polite and friendly, <laughs> but leave a comment and um, you'll be in to win the Homestead pack because I've got a double up of that. And then I've also got the one from the original Woolworths promotion. I got a double up of that one, which has the, the, the supermarket. And then all of my double ups too. Um, and I don't know if I'll just put them all to one P person. Depends how many entries we have and how many double ups I have. It might be a bit kind of um, bad to send all that stuff to one person when like maybe thousands entered. So um, I might have to split it up, but we'll see how we go. Now. There we have a beehive. Do we have, no, we've already got the beehive. Sorry, it's right there. Oh man, this camera. Okay, there we go. So we already have the beehive, so I won't build that one. I thought it was something new, but I think the beehive I did in the very first video. Okay, and my, my, my double ups are mixing up with my unopened ones, but let's keep moving. We have, oh, a man, a bearded mustachioed man. And nope, already a double up. It is this gentleman there. So I won't, I won't reassemble him, but we've already got him. This video, man, I've been very unlucky this time because like, sure, we are running out of like new ones that I could open, but still, we usually have more luck than this. Let's quickly check. Let's see how many we got left. Cause this, this farm needs filling up. Uh, so we need to have that, we need that. We need whatever that doohickey is. Yeah, there's heaps there for us to click. So yeah, we've just been unlucky today. Okay, what is in here? It looks like a man. Oh, it's the same dude with the, the orange hat. Okay, then. Put that over there. I don't want to just have a video of double ups, so I might have to grab more. We need to. This looks like a vegetable mix. Okay, no, that's... That's new. I don't know what the label's for. I, I think these are more like kind of groceries to go into the house because I don't see... Oh, bee nets. <laughs> okay, cool. So this looks like more kind of groceries. I might grab a shopping trolley actually. Here we go. Chuck them in the shopping trolley. I think that's a lid. So yeah, so we got bee focus. There we go. We got bee nets. Very cool. Chuck them in there. And then we've got, this looks like a cauliflower. And then we have uh, avocado and a carrot. So that was uh, mixed vegetables. And I'll leave that outside. Why isn't it clicking on? I'll just leave it there. I'll leave it outside the house, but ready to go in. And now let's jump off to countdown again. We've still got quite a few of these to go. I'm trying to be as fast as I can. I do apologize for all the double ups. Now, what is this? This is a letterbox. Okay, definitely new, definitely new. I don't remember even seeing a letterbox. Okay, so how do we assemble this? I might need to help. Um, looks easy enough. Okay, cool. So, put that there. <laughs> I say that, the first thing I do was totally wrong. But okay, so here it is assembled without the stickers. I think that would be like that. Okay, so there it is without the stickers. And then I shouldn't just wing it. I should kind of read the instructions. Okay, so this one goes on the front there. Uh, like so, slightly crooked. And now that one will put on the side like so. <laughs> Insanely crooked. Wow, that might be my worst yet. And then this one there and again horribly crooked this is gonna fall down in like two seconds but there's our letterbox oh already fell down and i'm just gonna stick it there even though there's no way to get into the house i think this tree doesn't need to be there oh, let's just move that is that a double up mm, i don't know i'm gonna chuck it there okay so we're looking good so we now have a letterbox Okay, actually no, it's, it might sound like I'm wrapping up. I'm not, there's, there's more to go. We'll, we'll do a proper look once I've opened up these last few. So we've got two left. I might grab another two countdown ones maybe, or maybe one of, one, one, one of each. Oh no, we've got one countdown. 
there we go, one more worth. Okay, so we'll do countdown next. So we'll do this final four just to make up for all the double ups we got. Okay, another man, but this is a different man, I believe. Yeah, different man. So this is a countdown looking fellow. Sorry, <laughs> Kai from Countdown. He's a farmer. Now, that's great to finally have a farmer. I wonder if the Australian series, let's have a quick check, has the farmer as well. Oh, he's a different looking farmer. Okay, so the farmer from Woolworths has, oh, there's a scarecrow. Farmer from Woolworths has a pink shirt, and then the New Zealand farmer from Countdown seems to have a green shirt. Now, let's quickly throw him, actually, let's do the shirt stickers before I throw his arms on. Okay, looking nice. And then his back. Good. And then the arms. One. The arms I'm sure are easier to get on this year than last year. Because yeah, I remember it being quite a struggle. Okay, and then there's a hat. So, there's our farmer. Our very first farmer. Kind of wondering when he was going to come along, take care of all these animals. So here we go. I'll put him outside the farm. There. Good. Looking nice. Oh, you can see that. There he is. Okay, now. That's good. I'm happy to have got a new man because um, we've got ton of those orange hat fellows whose names I don't think I can pronounce. Um, oh, we've got more potatoes. We already opened potatoes before. So that can go into the double up pile. Go to one of you happy viewers. Okay. And this one feels very empty, but there is something in there. Oh, okay, more um, jars of jam and everything. Sorry, let me just lower the camera for you. It's not good that I see it before you do. There we go. And that's it for the countdown ones. We've got one more, it looks like it hasn't been opened up. And carrots, carrots. We already got carrots. Oh no, another double up. Bad luck. And now I've got that scarecrow. Now that I've seen that scarecrow, I'm kind of like, that's what I'm looking for as soon as the bags open. Yeah, I really want to get that scarecrow now. It looks very cool. Um, but that is it for today's video. Now I apologize. That was horrible luck. Some videos we get great luck and like almost everyone is new. Uh, but today's video, there was a lot of double ups. Um, and we still have a big set to set up. We still have the farm shed to do. There we are. So hopefully I'll do that this later this week or next week. Um, but our farm is going good and we do have a lot of space to fill up. So it's crazy that we didn't get more kind of crops to go there. But what is meant to go there? Hold on, we got, I guess some trees. So that bitch, that tree should be there. But yeah, there's, I can see easily, we're definitely past halfway, but not by much. So we should be getting a lot more things. Um, especially since we've got like countdowns like whole range as well so that's crazy um but anyway there we go he's looking amazing the farm could not be cooler uh, i am excited by this promotion <laughs> i'm i'm frustrated that's probably why i'm so frustrated we got so many double ups there's so many cool things i could have got uh, but guys thank you for watching to the end let me know in the comments below how your farm is going um also get just by doing a comment that will get you in the competition to win the um starter packs and then all my double ups um but yeah let me know how you're going how your week's going school holidays coming up fairly soon um otherwise take care of yourself thanks for watching have a great week and i will catch you later